Hey, this is Russ Edgar, Avion Overlander. Welcome. Today I want to show you a project I've been working on that is in the truck, actually. I've installed a switch that controls both of my battery banks and my solar panels that are on top of the truck. The way this functions, and I'll pan around so you can see it, there's a cable, a number four cable coming from the top of the truck down to the bottom of the switch. That is the power coming in. And then I have a choice, and I'll come over so you can see, I've written it on there, if I turn that selector to truck, number one, the truck will get all the four panels from above. However, as you can see, I have it on two. That means that all the panels here are sending their current directly to the trailer. I've had to do a little modification. Uh, had to bring a switch over here, uh, a fuse to put in, just in case. This switch was actually on the other side of the truck, but I've changed all that now that what I have goes to the back of the truck and to the trailer. The back of the truck, just over the top of the tailgate. You can see that there are two, actually four, Anderson connectors there that are making a connection. You see some uh, used to be red cables. They're bleached out because they've been out in the sun on a uh, uh, solar, three panel solar unit that was sitting out in the yard. Uh, they bleached out, but the copper's still fantastic in it. Uh, they are number six cables and doubling them the way I have, I checked it on and that is equivalent to a number three cable when they're doubled. What happens is, you can follow it, goes around, and I cut a hole in my trailer, yes I did, right there. And those cables inside this loom goes all the way back to my batteries. The Avion has compartments along the bottom. And I chose, because this cable is so heavy, and I didn't want it to attach it to my belly pan because I thought it might, well, I'm sure it would pull all the bolts or rivets loose in time, uh, especially after going to Canada this year and uh, running into some roads that needed to be fixed. but wasn't gonna go, ever gonna happen. So what it is, this is the loom. The cables are in here and they run back through these doors all the way back to the end of the trailer. There are two places that that doesn't happen. This is one of them. What I did is I had to come out and go around the steps and under them I could not go through them because they're movable. And it would take a remastering of steps to do this. So what I have is I have purchased heavy duty zip ties. There are 120 pound zip ties. They're, uh, they will never leave, let anything go. They'll be forever got to the wheel well, I did something very similar, only instead of zip ties, I use metal clips and I use Olympic rivets. You can see they stick out a little bit. They're not like regular rivets. Each one of these rivets itself will hold 225 pounds. So each one of these brackets has 250 or 450 pounds of hold on them. They go from over here, you can see they come out, they go across, 
tires in the way. When I put it in here, I taken I took both of the tires off. It goes around and goes back in down here. This is a something of a jumble, but it's really not too bad. Here's where they end. You can see the Anderson connectors. I like red, so I use red ones. There's many colors. They're on number six cables. This is where they end up ready to go up UP to the battery compartment. This is where they come out. In the bottom of the battery compartment, they are on 40 amp switches. There's two of them here. Actually, I've doubled this. And then I go through another two over here. The ones over there are for the panels that are on the trailer. They're separate. Two systems. But I can combine the systems for the trailer by using my new system. These are easily reset. You click it, opens, close it with a touch. So you look and you can see any time it's not correct. Right now, uh, I am charging lens inside the trailer, running the vacuum. So it is uh, taking quite a bit of juice. It's running on inverter only. I'll pan back out. You can see the batteries are right there. Charger and inverter are right there to the top right. This is a 60 amp solar controller right here. I've never shown you, but I have bus bars back here and everything runs off of them. So why do all this agonizing work? And it was agonizing. I had to pull part of a battery bank to get uh, room to work. I had to, and this was a job and a half to put that uh, loom with the cables in it through the avion. But what purpose? Well, the purpose is this, is we're driving down the road, uh, no matter where we are, we'll be able to charge the trailer, and those are the ones that are the lithium batteries, we'll be able to charge the trailer with all eight panels. Four on the truck and four on the trailer. So we'll always, no matter what, we will be fully charged when we get someplace. Well, you're gonna say, why would you do that? Because what's gonna start charge the truck? Well, the truck has a DC to DC that runs off the alternator. So if we're driving a couple hundred miles, that battery bank is going to charge itself just from the alternator. When I get to a location and say we get to some place at two or three o'clock in the afternoon, I throw the switch and all the sun, the solar panel juice goes right to the batteries that are in the truck. The truck has 420 amps of really good less acid AMG batteries. The trailer has 400 amps of lithium. This is the driver's side of the cable. It comes between the propane tanks. Has lots of slack. So when I make turns, I won't have any problem. Goes up. I'll go ahead and close. You can see. Back of the topper closes correctly. I can even, if I wanted to, I can push it in and lock it. I wanted to show you the difference. Uh, we're on a very cloudy day. It rain, it's been raining on and off all afternoon. Uh, the panels on top of the Avion are putting 83 watts in on a bad day and the battery is about 95 percent. I'm going to ask Lynn to throw the switch and this should about double if I've done everything right. Throw that switch. 
All right, this looks really good. Uh, well over 200% on a crap day. Uh, if you would, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. It would really help us out. Be safe out there. And I truly hope you're as lucky as Lynn and I are.